The study of information and communications technology has over the years been a challenge for school-going children in the Tichima North district of the Bono East region. The district entirely has no running facility that aids the study of the subject and as a result, children within the area perform abysmally in the BEC exams. Today, the Tiobanum community is privileged to have a new robotics and ICT laboratory built by the Member of Parliament of the area with support from the Helping Africa Foundation in partnership with the Friends of Yamaransa Foundation. The project which is aimed at providing an opportunity for students to expand their knowledge in STEM education through practical experience is being managed by implementers who are also partners to the project. Kafui Prebier is the Chief Executive Officer of TechAid and Project Manager for the Yamransa model. This is the 10th lab that we've built that has these specifications. So there are two 24-seater uh, labs with one for the teacher making a 50-seater lab. And then there is also a training room and a, or a conference room. There's also a maker space, which is like a robotic center. So that place has 3D printing facilities. It also has uh, Legos, right? Legos for programming. The kids are learning how to do programming. It has some Arduino boards also for programming. Over 50 teachers have been trained on the robotics and the use of the computers. There are over 30 pieces of educational softwares. And then there is the Asanka device, which has all the content required for teaching and learning of the primary and JHS syllabus. It was developed by TechEd and is specially made such that children in rural areas can have access to educational content. For the Member of Parliament for the area, Elizabeth Ofosu Ejari, the project would create an enabling environment for all, especially girls whom, according to her, would help reduce teenage pregnancies in the area. I'm excited to be the promoter of this project to bring technology very close to the doorsteps of my young people. I know and you know that in the 21st century, technology is the way to go. I decided to use this space to create a certain environment for them to learn. I think if we occupy them, especially the ladies, it will go a long way to also helping me in my fight against teenage pregnancy and to bring women closer to technology so that the, the next few years, Techma North will also churn out robotic engineers, civil engineers, and what have you. Today, I am happy. Shariva asked that her office is partnering with the Girl Child Education Unit of the GES to provide mentorship to these girls in order to keep them in school. From time to time, I'll bring their guardians and counseling coordinators to come and speak to them because I'm working closely with the girl child and guardian and counseling coordinators. They need to be spoken to. Executive Director of the Helping Africa Foundation, Jafet Ayiku, emphasized that the foundation is committed at building more ICT laboratories across the 16 regions of Ghana. Since 2016, we have made it our, our aim to build one computer center in each of the 16 regions of Ghana. This is the 10th one that we have built. We are built in the Ashanti region, Eastern region, Northern region, and all over. We have six more to go, which we're going to do in 2022 and 2023. This one, which is the last one that we're building for 2021, is unique in the sense that the promoter of the center is the MP for the area. Some of the beneficiaries of the project expressed joy and stated that the initiative would improve the practical knowledge of pupils in the area. Juliet Makafui is a junior high school pupil of the Chebodam Islamic JHS. You know, sometimes the teachers will sometimes draw the computer, um, the monitor and the keyboard and the system units on the board. So now that they, um, they built this facility for us, it will help us to learn. It will help us improve um, our ICT skills, our cycling skills and other things with practicals rather than looking at the drawing. Reporting for Joy News, Anas Sabit, Chobodam.